At the start of the following season, they played FA Cup winners Manchester City in the Charity Shield at Elland Road. Racing towards the goal line as it comes across and it's the goal! And then with Vini coming in, Pemner there to see everything's all right. George Best with the hair blending into the shirt and on the front of that hair we find he's growing just a little bit of a beard either that or he didn't have time for a shave this morning Remus come for it so oh, he was never really there and Sandler tries to clear it and Hoyne gets the touch this is Sadler Morgan Find with him, Kid and Law together. Charlton coming in! And the goal for Bobby Charlton. Cliff Jackson. The running by Queen. Doing well to control it. And the goal by Jerry Queen. That's a nasty one. Oh, Jackson, Morgan, and a goal! John Giles, a beauty to Norman Hunter. And it's a goal! And it's a goal by Brentford! What a beautiful goal there by Billy Bremner! A fantastic goal! Maidley, finding Lorimer, and it's really ball to be Lorimer! A beautiful goal from Scott! Greaves. Oh, a beautiful dummy there by Alan Gilzean. Dummy Eddie Gray. It's first coming, look at the space that Greaves has now! Greaves, he must do it, yes, yes, he's got one, Jimmy Greaves coming through, Johnny Giles, tee it up, he has one, and it's Collins gets in the way, Collins, it's a handball, from here it appeared to hit Collins in the pit of the stomach, but the referee says it's handball, from Collins, Collins number six with his hands on his hips, What a dramatic finish to this match. A minute to go, a minute to go, and a penalty to Leeds United. Leading at the moment, two goals to four. Handball by Collins, a penalty to take much odds. What the school guys watching, the ideal way there to take a penalty. And McClintock are not tall, happy the way Everton are organising, or rather Arsenal are organising their way at the back. So now it's Robertson and McClintock. Loyal on his feet again and waiting at that far side. Morrissey flicking it in. Hurst getting in, and it's there! John Hurst!
And there's our shot from the other end of the field. Keith Weller, number 10, to do the captain's job for Millwall. He scored both Millwall goals so far this season, but neither of them come from penalties. Weller, the kicker. And it's there. Millwall ahead then. 19 minutes gone. Keith Weller, the scorer from the penalty. Tees heading it down for Kinsey. He's got Peacock outside him. Good piece of play there by Peacock. Crawford. And a good shot on the turn by Crawford. Oh, magnificent goal by Ray Crawford. What a beautiful goal. Burns. Kidd. And number one for Woody Morgan. Beautifully intercepted. Payne behind him, coming up now. Good dummy run, gave Fisher the room on his other side. Sydenham. Good cross too, Davis. 1-1. One, one. Ron Davis, very pleased. Fisher congratulating him. Fisher has started the move. Sydenham. Three men in the penalty area for Southampton. And looking for Davis again, and he's got it again! And it's an own goal. I don't think it could have been stopped from going in, but it's been given. Whether in fact that was Davis's goal or whether it was an own goal is very difficult to say. Sydenham called for that on the left. Now three men in the middle if Sydenham can pinpoint his cross. This is where the danger came from in the first half. Over it comes. Davis there, number three. Magnificent goal again by Davis. And once more, United Court. And Davis comes across to congratulate Sydenham as well. He might. How well John Sydenham has flighted these crosses onto Davis's head. Fearon. Books. Hooks coming forward, nothing to be gained by staying back now. And still going, they're played Hooks. Saw. Davis trying to exploit this with Hooks out of position. And Davis has still got it, this could be his hat-trick, it is! Harris, Newton. Hunter and Gray. Now Hunter. Cross ball for Clark. And Clark. Alan Clark, the scorer. His second goal since he joined Leeds United from Leicester. Johnny Dyle scored a penalty at home against the Spurs in a 3 1 win. Game before last. There goes Giles now. Two nothing, Leeds United. Chapman forward for more. Winfield four. Four. Lions chance for Newton. Yes. Ronnie Reese, and it's 2-1 now to Leeds United. We've seen rather little of it this afternoon. Eddie Gray with a chance. Oh, yes! Oh, that was a sad moment. Eddie Gray.
Gray facing Reese. Now Harris. Chance for Lorimer. Wow, what a goal! Their international cast were now ready to spread their wings. And Royal. Oh, a beautiful goal! A magnificent goal by Morrissey! Hook and Boyer! It's a beautiful goal! What a header! City turned their attention. Now Gilzean taking advantage of that mistake by McCormick. Beautifully played. Oh, good goal! Royal goal by Bill. And that's Braybrook. Dyson inside him. Here's Dyson with another chance. Dyson, good save. Braybrook still keeping it in. And here's Bullock. Bullock! It's a great goal! A great goal there by Bullock. Tremendous work there by Braybrook. And Orient go two goals up. Bannister. Finding French, looking inside for Allen, he's found him, there's Bannister going down too. There's Allen! It's number seven, it's a goal by John Collins! John Collins the scorer! All the hard work done by Allen, but the scorer, Collins. Reed with a big kick. McDonald, a flick. Lewis. There's Allen. Allen across to French. French with a lob. It's a goal. Graham French. Keane with the free kick. Mike Keane. McDonald. goalkeeping by Wilson. Kip and Davis has scored! What a goal by Davis! Yo ho! Didn't he hit that one? Cracks. In goes Davis and here comes Foggen. It's a goal and that was Davis creating that opportunity again he went up he took two defenders they were completely mesmerized and Fogham came behind the line Fogham Davis Robson oh what football Rogers with the corner again Horsfield now to Rogers. Yes! Rogers, who's always been positive and direct. To Trollope, what a good ball that was, and it's number three. Trollope. Rogers once more has had a hand at all the goals. 
Again, the defense and short his hands as he goes anyway. Number three for Noble. With Hunt. Hunt with a shot. And it's in the net. To Steve Kemba. Bartram flicking that one on well. Woodruff, can he get a shot in? Hoy! Great goal by Roger Hoy! What a magnificent goal! And Sewell still carrying his boot. Leisman's flag up. Dempsey pushes it on. Fits it away. Webb! Hausman! Great save! Hudson going in. And away with his one good boot. But the pressure's not off them yet. McCready to pump it back. In goes Hudson. A goal by Hudson. Royal on the edge of the penalty area. Charlton right beside him. Coming through though for husband. And look, a very good shot is number one, husband. Terrible mistake by Gary Sprague. Number seven, Jimmy Husband. Puts Everton 1 0 in the. Brown. Jackson through to Harvey. Twenty minutes gone. 1 0 to Everton. Morrissey now, looking for Royals, and he's got it! And he's got it a second time! Straight with the goal kick. Harvey, ball, Lebeau, first. First, good work to Jackson, the two husband. Royal! Giles with the corner. Over it comes. And it's in from Brenda. Off his chest, appeals for handball, but Mr. Hill, who was right on the spot, says off Brenda's chest. Greeny for Leeds. Charlton. Leeds trying to screw up the pressure, trying to see if they can force this Everton defence to crack. They need two goals, and they've got a quarter of an hour to get them if they're going to preserve this record. Good running by Cooper. And good work this too. Beautiful one. Lorimer. Clark. What a magnificent goal. Here's the end swinger. Lawler. A goal. A beautiful goal by Lawler. Magnificent header. What a superb goal by right fullback Chris Lawler. Farland has gone right under the goal line now, pick number five. And it's there! Scored by O'Hare. So, seven minutes before half-time, John O'Hare has scored. Put the, uh, push the young supporters back first before we can have this corner. this season struggling two goals down. Ball. The Kendall a great
terrible argument in the middle of the field. The West Ham players surrounding David Smith. He's going across to the linesman. Jimmy Greaves is going with him. Now, what's he going to say? A goal or not a goal? A goal! Cooper coming up. Bremner. Leaving it for Giles. Jones chasing, and oh, no goal! It's an own goal by David Sadler. David Sadler heads the ball over Alex Steffi's head. An own goal by poor David Sadler. Trying to head that ball away from Mick Jones. Turned it over the top of Alex Stepney, who'd come out too far. Greeny always policing him, but a good ball finds Morgan with a lot of room. Willie Morgan. Greeny getting it away, Gowling there. Best, it's there! Best has equalised! Gary Sprague was diving the wrong way there as Best got that one in. Well tackled by Tony Dunn, finds Alan Garling, Bobby Charlton, United moving forward again, Manchester there, George Best with a lot of room to work, Gibbons on his right, Best again, a glorious goal by Best, what a magnificent goal by Best, a masterpiece of a goal by Best, straight never moved. Terry Cooper, Mick Jones, O'Grady, Jack Charlton, Bremner. Oh, beautiful goal! What a superlative goal by Bremner! Oh, what a wonderful goal by Bremner! An overhead kick from Jack Charlton's flick. Bremner, a wizardry. January 69, John Dempsey from Fulham for 70,000. The newcomers represented solidity. Recalling the goals he did score simply begs the question how good might he have been? Osgood. What a good goal! Beautiful control though by Lee. A good run by him. Now coming to York. Going past Mallory, and now for Bell, can he flick it back? He does to Boya! It's there by Boya! Ian Boya, goal number six of the season for him. One nil ahead for Manchester City. Doyle. Oaks. To Bell. And now Young. A flick in there for Bell! Magnificent goal by Colin Bell! Beautifully taken that little dipping centre into the near post. Bell was there a foot before any Spurs defender and that surely wraps it up. Lee, and here's Oakes again. Second goal of the season for City. Two goals right at the end. And a scoreline now which really doesn't do justice to Tottenham. Newcastle's got everybody back. Chips it up, Davies back there, and a great goal there from McFarlane. McFarlane saw that one all the way and had no trouble there in beating McFall. Set up by Mackay, McFarlane running onto the ball and headed it right into the corner of the net. A nice goal there by Roy McFarlane for Derby. Crowd getting all worked up now. Johnny Giles, Hunter, Cooper, 
Clark. Jerry Young with him, Clark going very fast. Oh, he's a wonderful chance, he's there. Springett and Young got in a mix up, and Clark makes it number one. Alan Clark went very fast then. Jerry Young and Peter Springett left it to each other, and Clark was there with an open. Hunter. Giles. Leeds lost that grip they had earlier. But here's Bremner here, Leeds. A good ball, nice ball to Gray. And a goal, a glorious goal, a superbly executed goal. And how am I saying that Leeds have lost their ascendancy and a glorious through pass. And Eddie Gray picked his spot magnificently, a superb goal. McKickney with that lethal left foot of his. Banks. Wagstaff. Simkin. Simkin still with a break. You've got Halton and Butler coming in onto the far post and Chilton on the far post. There's Chilton. What a great goal. Chris Chilton. Worked his sole position beautifully, nodded it in the back of the head, no effort at all. Banks. <laughs> Bolton pushing right the way back now. The game's a bit tied up, difficult to get through here. Wagstaff. Banks. Lord. Rimmer getting in trouble there. Butler. Chilton. Good attempt by Wagstaff. What a flick. What a great flick by Ken Wagstaff. Grady. Grady. Now Reedy, number two for Leeds. Jones. And number two for Leeds, it really is. Clark calling for a centre. There's Jones. And it's 3 0. Clark took up position well. And he's going to get the ball. Giles. It's another. Remner. Remner. Take it up for Giles. And that's another. Jones with a chance. And. Cooper to Bremner. Yes, he scored! Bremner. That will do his damage! Bremner has got the tenth goal in the last minute. Jones again getting it. And a great appeal for a penalty. It is one. It is a penalty for Leeds. And all those dark shirted and dark shorted Chelsea fans don't believe it at all. Charles number 10 versus Bonetti. And it's a goal. Bonetti bought the wrong one. No, it's Charles. Lorimer! And it's a free kick, and some of us in, and it's Bell. Oh, and it's a, it's a goal. Bell's got a goal. Well, with commentary, all waiting and wondering what it was all about. There's the first goal of the match. Francis Lee coming through, through strong for Colin Bell, appealing for offside, but Bell gets it. Bell's got it. A lovely ball from Lee.
penalty this time to be taken by Clark, previously by Terry Venables, who scored all three times. And now Frank Clark, there he is, to take the penalty. Fintock going up into the Manchester United penalty area. Radford on the goal line. Armstrong with the corner, low one. And it's there! By Graham! One minute, 20 seconds gone. George Graham puts Arsenal ahead. And now caught for Arsenal. Rice in now for Samuels. Still Samuels, and he's got a bang on him! Oh, magnificent goal! John Samuels! His first goal of the season! Bobby Charlton. Best off in chase. Can he give Simpson the slip? A shot, and a goal! A mistake by Webster! Goal by Best! A tragic error, though, by... Malcolm Webster. Aston. Kid looking for it and getting it. Morgan wanting it on the right. Best in the middle again. McClintock shadowing him. Now Best! Best! It's there by Sadler! Sadler putting it home. Made for him. Unmistakably by Best. Carlin. McFarland. Webster. That one's for Durban. Durban's got his fellow number four, Alan Murray, with him. Oh, chance for Durban. He's there. Alan Durban scored a mistake by the Spurs defence, and Alan Durban made no mistake from that. Pratt gets it away. We'll throw in. McGovern for O'Hare. And Hector going through very fast. Kevin Hector in the penalty area. It could be number two. It's a goal. Yes, it must be over the line. Undoubtedly over the line. Beyond any shadow of doubt, Kevin Hector makes it number two. As Kenton goes across to take this corner, Derby County leading 2-0. And good football from both sides now. Here's the inswinger by Henson. Coming in, up goes Hector. It's there, number three. Carlin, it's Carlin the scorer. Willie Carlin. A glorious goal by Willie Carlin, just flew off his head. And Derby County are almost incredibly three goals in the lead. Again, Roy McFarlane, strong in defence. Alan Durban. Roy McFarlane is there, Willie Carlin. This is Carlin. Behind him is Durban. There's Durban. Oh, nice piece of play through the legs. O'Hare, it's a goal, a magnificent goal by O'Hare. What an absolute beauty. McGovern getting up, Hinton. McGovern to O'Hare, Hinton and Durban's on the left. O'Hare, Hector coming up quickly. A good one, number five, Durban. Durban makes it five. Kevin Hector the centre and Alan Durban makes it number five and it was all so easy. Durban was standing there, he picked his spot of poor hapless Jennings. And a beautiful goal scored by Burns. There's a tremendous, not an appeal, but there's arguments in the West Ham defence. But Burns ran the fully 20 yards to get that one. Five minutes gone and Burns has scored. Sadler. Into Morgan. Best! A great goal! And Best has done it again. Clyde Best with the corner, for West Ham. Red that, and a goal by Hurst. 
26 minutes gone. Front kick. The best up with him, Morgan up, marked on the right. This is Morgan, number seven. Aston to Charlton. And how once again for West Ham. Make a sterling game. Morgan. Charlton. 3 1. Stevenson. Clyde Best trying to screen the ball from Fitzpatrick. Ooh, really wriggled past him. And here's the great goal. Beautifully made by Clyde Best. And beautifully scored by Jeff Hurst. A kid. Kid to Burns. Number eight, kid. Aston and George Best has scored. And 82 minutes. And I think we have to give that one to George Best. I can't see that it was over the line. To Charlton. Then George Best got it. It's almost frightening what he can do. And another goal! A great goal! Scored by Kidd, but made by this genius, George Best. Peter Thompson. Hughes. And it's in the net! It's in the net! That must be the last kick of the net! between us and I enjoy playing with him. It was great to play with Tosh because obviously he's still in football and very, been very, very successful and I like to think that uh, in his early days I was uh, part of his success, although very, very small. It was at this time that a formidable partnership was developing between Brian Clark and John Toshak, earning them the nickname the Terrible Twins. Former Cardiff City Idol and Welsh international fullback Ron Stitfall recalls Toshak as an up-and-coming youngster in his youth side. At the end of my career, I used to train the young lads. Uh... Bradford, for Baldwin, Collins, Virginal laying it off for Baldwin, but so many red shirts are there. Here's Cook. Baldwin playing it off beautifully. Cook, Oscar in the middle, and Virginal too. Going in, great goal by Virginal. Wonderful goal by Chelsea. Dempsey's still up there, the big number five, you can see. Hasn't had time to go back, in fact. Baldwin at the near post. Hausman with the corner, low. Samuels missing his kick. Dempsey trying to get in. Hausman again. Pumping it through. Good save. Marginal. Number two. Cook to take the corner. Short to Hollins. Now Cook again. Cook! There was definitely a deflection, but it was shot there by Charlie Cook. A cunningly taken corner. And Chelsea now three ahead. Crawford. Another of those overhead flicks to Peacock. Good turn of speed. Here's Peacock. What a good goal. A beautiful goal there by Keith Peacock. 
and all started by a good flick by Ray Crawford, the man just coming to the picture, but Lampy looking for Chilton. That's Chilton. Gets it across there, Butler. Simkin. Chris Simkin. His first goal of the season and a very, very welcome one. Haynes to take it. Earl's head. Number one. Beautifully flighted free kick from Johnny Haynes. Steve Earl's goal, his eighth goal of the season. On to Kala to Brown. And a bad mistake there between Haydock and Griffiths gives a chance for Barrett to turn it inside to Haynes and Haynes straight out to Conway. This is good by Fulham. Conway a little bit slow. And he gets his goal! It looked as though Jimmy Conway had completely thrown that away. Looked as though he delayed much too long after Haynes had put him clear. But gets his 13th goal of the season. Barrett with the corner. Conway, ugly, trying to put his legs in the way of it and is turned in by Earl. Terrible mess up there by the county defence. Ogley, feeling perhaps that he couldn't get his hands to it, tried to turn the ball away with his legs. And so Earl gets number three. Lloyd. Conway following up to pick up the loose one. Brown. Horn. And Earl. Well saved. Earl again. Well saved again. Earl again. And that time! You won't see it better done on Blackpool Pier. Three shots, and the third one going in to give Steve Earle his hat-trick and to put Fulham 4-0 in the lead. Three men in the centre. Morton at the back of the box there, just turned off his head by the substitute for Fulham, Mick Pentecost. Price. What a trial. But too hard with his cross. And a chance here, number nine, John Rowland scores the first for Stockport County. Gray, inside is Clark. There's Gray. All good ball to Jones, to Clark. There's Gray. It's there, Eddie Gray. To play there by the substitute. Ortonundu, but this is Oakes. Trying one, and a goal! Alan Oakes, number one! Flicking it through now for Summerby. And Irabar out very quickly, but straight to Young, he must score! Saved on the line! Bell, number two. 21 minutes gone now of the second half. Manchester City, two in the lead. Doyle to Bell. Bowie are in danger of getting himself offside, but now it's Lee slipping that tackle beautifully. Now on to the left foot of Neil Young. Bell in the middle, and it's there from Bowie. Number three, Ian Bowyer for Manchester City. With just five minutes now to go. Royal. Has been almost nonchalant, isn't it? Morrissey. Oh, a great goal! A lovely goal by Morrissey! A ball for Everton. Husband unmarked on the right. Harvey, oh, it's a goal! 
England number five up for the high one. Gilzine. There. What a great flick for Alan Gilzine. The ball played short to the near post. The angle so acute as to be almost impossible, but you've got to blame the goalkeeper there for not covering that near post. Payne. Payne has not really been able to get into this match at all. Bond. Spurs playing it a bit too tight at the back. It's too close. Caught too often in possession in the second half, trying to slow the game down. But they're slowing it down so much that South Andering are finding them all the time. Payne. Good ball. Gabriel. Yes. Stokes. Morgan laying it back to what? There's Gamil Gilzine. Greaves. And McGrath getting a touch. Greaves. When Jimmy Greaves is out of form, he doesn't miss those. Marsh coming away from that defence. Beautiful skills. Oh, beautiful stuff by Marsh to Morgan. Bridges going in, and it's now Bridges made for him by Marsh. Eight minutes gone, and sheer magic from Rodney Marsh. Dave Clement. Bill Gates, I think, probably will be equal to this one. No, he's not. Clark has put... Got a great chance here. There it is, number two. Mistake by Gates. Smith, a poor one, straight to Clements. Now Clark. Clements continuing his run. Dave Clement right through. And number three by Clement. Clark getting up for it, and Bridges, can he turn on it? He does! Barry Bridges! A goal out of nothing! And the fourth now for Queen's Park Rangers. Downing going for the return, but Williams there. <laughs> Setting a nice dummy to McElmoyle as well. John Manning. Bit of a flick there by Bill Gates. into trouble and the opening goal of the match comes from John Hickton with only 45 seconds gone what a terrible return for Charlie Hurley coming back to the northeast after having 11 years with Sunderland and he presents John Hickton with a goal for Middlesbrough after only 45 seconds of the match McMordy trying to tee it up trying to do a Rodney Marsh there didn't quite come off Go on, underneath it again. Absolutely stood still. 40 minutes and 7 seconds. 2 nothing to Middlesbrough. Hickton acting as decoy. Gates gets up. Gates up again. Hickton! but it almost couldn't be true but it was <laughs> McAmore and Hopkinson coming out of protest and with every justification the defensive header was missed and McAmore just had to nod Dugan again to Curran to Bailey and now to Wagstaff Shaw going up on the outside. And Curran going in, a goal! Hugh Curran! Bob Wagstaff's cross. Hugh Curran's tenth goal of the season.
season with 10 minutes to go to half time. Brown is beaten by Irwin. And off goes Irwin. Baker streaking down the middle. Stewart coming across. And Irwin has completely left Brown. Stewart! Royal! Royal, how dangerous he is with his head. Brown, Morrissey, very neat. Still got it. Husband there, ball coming round for it too. And a tremendous goal from Kendall. three times from the spot this season will take this penalty 15 minutes to go scored 357 goals to pop taking on Cantello attacking him as he ought to and Osgood in a great goal by Osgood what a fine header by Osgood right on half time Peter Hausman with it Webb right up in the six yard box and Osgood going in, Cook, number two, Charlie Cook! A good ball to John McPhee. Oh, and a good through ball, and Burns! Oh, what a beauty, what a superb go by Mickey Burns! Skelton's Dale United amateur, and what a beautiful left foot shot. Alan Hodgkinson never saw it. Dave Powell hooking it away. John Craven trying to get that over. Chance for Sheffield United to break. There's Tony. Alan Woodward going with him. And there's a goal! A glorious goal by Alan Woodward. A magnificent goal by Woodward, and Dave Hatton's wondering how he let that one through. Looking for Burns. Mickey Burns there. And Burns has it. But there's only Pickering in the middle. Pickering at the far post coming up now. It's there. A goal scored by Fred Pickering from Vicky Burns' centre. Craven calling for it in the middle. That's Craven. Craven going through beautifully in the box. Pickering, oh, what a goal by Pickering. What a magnificent hook left foot shot by Pickering. Wanting to get on with it, there's Lem Badger. Yeah. Flicked on by Addison, a chance there. And it's 3 2 with one minute to go. It's Tony Curry. Irwin overlapping for it. Stewart calling for it on the far side of the box. That's Stewart coming up. After 29 and a half minutes here at Broker Park. Redford again, one of the Sunderland players down on the far side of the pitch. Now the chance for Samuels, and it's there. John Samuels, after 29 minutes in the second half.
Brett Clark. Jones laying it on for Bates. And up front is Clark. He's not offside. Flying further down the park. Hughes going in. Hunt behind him. Hunt. Good ball to Smith. St. John to his right. Hunt moving to his left. Hunt. Oh, he took it. Cherry roaring in, headed away to Nicholson. Nicholson lobbing it up in the air. And two men chase Worthington. It's there. Worthington scored a beautiful flick by Jimmy Nicholson. What a lovely bit of football by Nicholson. And Worthington saw that. Only half a control again. Chilton now. With four men in the middle. One of them waxed off. Butler. Out on the right is Hoy, out on the left is Hoy, and he gets it. In the middle, Dobson and Worthington. Here's Hoy coming close. A goal! A beautiful goal by Hoy off the post! A magnificent narrow angle shot by Robbie Hoy. Nicholson, Greenwood. Chilton out on the right. Simpkin inside. Chilton beating two men, going like a steam engine, playing well. Out on the left to Butler, if he can keep it in. Inside is Wagstaff. No Butler. Working to Chilton. Ken Houghton with a lovely goal from Houghton. Racing him from the right. Chilton almost got his foot to it as it went over, but it hit the post and into the net. A lovely goal by Houghton. Obstruction there, so it's an indirect free kick. The ball must be deflected or hit by another person before a goal can count. Here's Dobbs flicking into the near post. And Worthington's there, it's a goal! They've made it! Worthington's done it again, it's 3 2. Doyle's going up for it. And it's there by Bell! Doyle coming forward. City so full of confidence at the moment, as you would expect, Bell, going right through Bell, number two, Colin Bell! And now this may come through to Francis Lee, still Lee, and number seven, Salome! On to Toshak, and that's the third one in the afternoon. And there's the terrible twins, as they must be coming known in second division football. Clark and Toshak, Toshak the scorer, controlled it beautifully with his left foot, and there's the score. Cardiff City 3, Hull City 0. Toshak had nodded clear by Pettit. Oh, this could be the fourth. Yes, that's it. Alan, oh, and a magnificent, what a magnificent piece of football. Clark the scorer, Alan who assisted so admirably, and I'm sure they're going to have a word with Carver. And that's another one by Koshak. Oh, that's a bad mistake by McKechnie, the goalkeeper, and then I Koshak to get his second goal and the sixth. Robertson trying his luck on the far side, finding Graham. Radford trying to give Hind the slip. And he may well have done so. 
Robertson, Mr. Charles Armstrong, George Armstrong, number one. The old story, they've got to be careful straight after kickoff, you've got to be concentrating. Long the ball like this and confusing in the partial defence, George. Yes, it was. It's, I think the old uh, Route 1 system was to start with a policy. Obviously badly needing a win to lift their morale a little bit. In the same way that Arsenal are, surprisingly, finding themselves at 14th in the first division to Palace's 18th. Here's McNabb putting it across. Radford in! And there it is by Radford! Armstrong with the corner for Arsenal. And Radford again getting in. Flick in a goal! Off Radford! His second goal of the game, and Arsenal's third. Radford going in again, and again, and now George Graham. A little one-two, a chance for Graham. Oh, a magnificent goal by Graham. What a superb goal by Graham. That really is a tremendous goal. Into Kemba and Simpson now coming forward. Arsenal hungry for the ball. George Graham and Armstrong gone sprinting in. Beautiful play by Arsenal. Oh, and a magnificent goal by Radford. Oh, a tremendous goal. What an incredible tangle there. Willie Carl in number eight getting two bites at the cherry and still no ball got past Tommy Lawrence and the whole thing set up by a great run there's McGovern and there it is McGovern Dave McKay forward and Yates just getting that one out here goes Hector Hector on his own now a great scoring chance there it is Kevin Hector McGovern forward Durban a bit lucky, and that's a great ball for Hinton. Hinton. And a chance for number 10, Hector. Kevin Hector. Oh, what a beautiful goal. Finding St. John instead, or 8 2 until McFarlane got there. McFarlane takes a lot of bustling off the ball. Here's Durban, the through ball. And there goes Hector. This must be a goal. Yes, indeed, it's O'Hare. Napier again getting in first for the head, but not keeping full of at bay. There goes Barrett. Mr. Haynes. And a great goal by the Maestro. So it's Napier. coming up now, then the moment that you must decide was it punched or was it headed in this Brighton goal? Good in swinger. And it's there. There was a beautifully taken corner kick. A lovely corner kick there by Kit Napier. And now Spirit building up this move for Turner to take it forward. Turner keeping it. Can he keep it now? Desperately hard pressed. And it's through for Henderson. Boy from Bridge of Allen lobbing this one into a right position there. And it's through. United, pretty but inconclusive that Blackburn attack. Colin Allison, Allen, Woodward scorching down, and a chance for Woodward to make it three. It's there, number three, and Blackburn Rovers are being routed. Salmons looking for Canelli, who's uh, behind him. Salmons emerges and gives the ball to Woodward, who is not offside by any stretch of the imagination. He was never offside, and the referees overruled the alignment, and it's a chance for number four. And it's there. A good bit of refereeing that by this Wolverhampton referee. There was no doubt about it. Woodward was at least three yards onside. Charlton. Hughes coming forward. Mallory moving forward square off Charlton. England four being held up up front. Charlton on a return. Couldn't get out of it. They're coming in. Oh! By Colin Bell. Out of nothing. with the corner. Yes! Bridges! Barry 
Bridges gets yet another to put Queen's Park Rangers in front. Curry. Bardo. Oh, yes, a real chance. Woodward, the equaliser. <laughs> 11 minutes left for play. The score's level of one each. Hazel with a kick. Hoskins above the rest, and it's Clark. Four boys, oh, he's had a good chance slip then. And Harris really showing why he's got a hard man. Not flinching at all, leaving few hurt. It's not few, in fact. Control by Radford, looking for Armstrong. What a good ball there to Armstrong. Plenty of red shirts up. Samuels is one of them. George, great throw! Charlie George! Armstrong. Graham trying a little one-two. McNabb well up amongst them. And now Robertson! John Samuels to Charlie George. And Graham, a tremendous run by Graham. Samuels, number three! Number three by Samuels! Simpson caught it there from O'Hare. Robertson to Radford. Scintillating play now by Arsenal. Robertson! Now can Armstrong get in? He can! Number four! It's Dyson. A deflection, I think, from Heslop. Dyson, the shooter, and I think that one came off Brian Heslop's head as he went to cover it and left Jim Montgomery with absolutely no chance at all. And in comes Irwin. Play on, says Mr. James, and Moncur's followed up well. Dyson's in there for it. Dyson, Mr. Davies! Pushed it across, Dyson missed at the first bite, but Wynn Davies steaming upfield behind him had little trouble in beating Montgomery for the second goal to Newcastle. Davies not hurrying, Dyson in possession in midfield, Sinclair waiting on the halfway line, Arantop going up in front of him, and Moncur coming up as nearly the whole United side has gone forward. Robson now to his captain, and Moncur for Clark and again both full backs up David Craig and Davies slipping at the last minute and Dyson we all knew who was in red the two Liverpool full backs are up that's Graham Lola that's it it's Thompson Right back, Smith. Graham! Hit it with the cross. Up to the Durban. Durban back to McGovern. McGovern with a shot. Durban down. Far side of the box, come to Durban. Durban missed with a volley. McGovern. And it's going to go in! That was bad luck indeed. The ball spun away from John McGovern, and then Eschers has the indignity of seeing a slow pass back go dribbling over the line to make the score two goals to nil for Derby County. to Robson. Uh, Hare and Hector in there. This is Robson going through. Robson with a chance. Come through to Durban. Durban scores.
a lot of rain in Wolverhampton this morning. The ground's very wet, it's cutting up a bit, but it's fine at the moment. The young Walker, leaving up for McCallion, and now a chance for Rutten. He scored! And the Arsenal defence completely and utterly open for the win. Two, two minutes of the second half gone, and Lutton has scored for Wolf. the corner and West slipping now Hasman oh kicked away by Brown Dempsey's there what's oh, good not very happy about it is West but in fact he failed just to get to that first one leaving that situation just fractionally open for Chelsea and Peter Osgood gets the equaliser with 11 minutes gone. Cut out by Hill. Now Collard. Now a rook to Brogan. Outside him is Mills on the left, but uh, he's going into the middle on his right foot. Now this is a good chance. Hill. That's a good run. A great goal. Nick Hill. It's first goal and the first goal for Ipswich. And away come. Ipswich, Frank Brogan. And luckily they stay in possession. Baxter putting Mills away on the left. Now Hill has gone on to the far post and so is uh, Arouk. Arouk with a flick. Hill overhead. It's a great shot, a great goal. A wonderful goal from Nick Hill. Tony Book with the free kick. Law. Bardo. All back on side. Neil Young. And it's there! Neil Young! 1 0! Is he done? Kid again. Young staying up there. And cut out very well by Alan Oakes. Chance for City to break. Bell on his right. It's four against three. Burns has come back to make the fourth one. Bell! And it's there! Five goal by Bell! Some of it. Lee in the middle. Boya! Oh, no goal! And no oh goal by Sadler! to go now. Accidental handball by Lee. Neil Young. From that same angle. And it's a good one. Lee. No. Oh yeah. Bell. Bell the scorer. Mullin Bell. There's Jeff Hunt the left back coming up intelligently. Hoy and Dobson in the middle. Worthington. Hutt. And a good one there! Slipped through the bird with his fingers, Jeff Hunt. And again, finding holes in legs there. Jimmy Lawson. To McGill. Hoy! A great chance for Hoy! Number two! We must see that again! Through ball to Hoy. To Cherry. Lawson. 
Worthington flicked onto Dobson, number three. Beautiful running by Dobson, and it's number three. Let's see that one again. To Nicholson, back to Dobson, to Clark, to Nicholson, McGill, Cherry, Cherry will shoot. Number four. Curtain. Garland nodded on well. It's a chance for Bush. It's there. Terry Bush has scored on the half hour mark. Garland. Sharp. Garland again. Bush. Twenty minutes of the second half gone, and look at best. See, fantastic ball control this man has. Now Burns, best, kid best. Neil had the right pedigree. Eleven years, an Arsenal player. And after bringing Don Howe back as coach, a team of promise began to emerge. His first signing created tremendous excitement. 20 minutes gone, no score. Hurst with the kick. Coming through the red line. And now come Brooking and best climb for this one. Hurst! No! Yes, it's there! Finally pushed home by Peters! It was Hurst who did the spade work. Whether or not that ball was just across the line when Peters put a foot to it, we should have to look for more. There's Robson. Here's the corner. Peters going in. Brooking. And that is there by Peters. Number two. Martin Peters. West Ham really are taking some punishment now. Redknapp to Brooking. Good aggressive running here by Brooking. The fine best. And now to Brooking again. Still he's going on. And now to Hurst. And it's now for a magnificent goal by West Ham. Oh, what a magnificent run by Brooking. There's the opening goal by Johnny Giles, and Leeds take the lead. The expert penalty taker, Johnny Giles, makes no mistake. Callahan. Over the far corner of the box, in comes Lawler. And it's through his legs, it's a goal, and it's Yates. Yates is, in fact, a scorer. And it went through Sprague's legs. Bad luck for Gary Sprague there, good luck for Liverpool. Edwards nicely floated into the sun and Burns <laughs> and we're now into injury time 1-0 Manchester United lead Sartori Best, Charlton, Charlton going through here like a greyhound, number two. And a very happy Bobby Charlton. You're beaten in the air, but Sadler covering, Greaves to Pierce. Morgan going outside him on his right, and he chips it back the other way. Gilzine, Chivers! Martin Chivers. Magnificent run by Best, exploding into action, so fast to see the opening, so difficult to shake off balance. Charlton. Oh, what a goal! Arm 
Armstrong to Radford. McNabb. Radford. Simpson. Armstrong. Simpson again. Robertson Arsenal moving with real authority and looking very composed. What a good header, what a good goal! Graham! Armstrong. Radford. McNabb. Yes! After 17 barren... ...thick and fast as the match of the day audience approached 10 million every Saturday. What a goal! A good goal scored by Ian Moore. A Reese. Moore. Ingers lands. It's 2 0. Charlton has continued his run into the 18 yard area. I've got a deflection. Great job. He's got a deflection on somebody. Run. Here's Bowyer, chased again by Edwards. Oaks. Looking for Summerby, who's coming to the middle. Lee, pouncing on it. The red shirts are bobbing around there. Bell! A goal! Colin Bell! 13 minutes! Nice little pass there to Kidd. Best going on. Charlton coming up as well. And on the far side, it's Aston. Straight into the path of Charlton! That's the equaliser from Bobby Charlton! A really terrible blow, this, to Manchester United. And a terrible burden, too, on Francis Lee. Can he now give City this lead to take to the second leg? He has 2-1. With just about two minutes to go, Lee makes it 2-1 from the penalty spot. is Peter Eustace. Good ball. Jack Whitham almost there. Whitham's there, he scored! He's there between the two. It's a good ball from Eustace. To Howe. Slipped just a little too much for him. Gave Manchester City the chance to come in and here's Francis Lee. Just by that post, the slightest suspicion possibly that Ferguson may have been a little slow getting down to it, but a really cruel ground shot. Bell for Manchester City to Lee. And Boyer, there it is, Ian Boyer, with the West Ham defence absolutely split asunder. City. 
And into the goal by Boya. Ian Boya's second goal of the game. Manchester City's third. Here's Lee. And now Oaks again to Colin Bell. Doyle. And there it is by Doyle. To make it number four. O'Rourke getting just a touch forward. Playing Want into trouble. Pratt in difficulties there. And a chance for Martin. Now, Machen. Here it is. Ernie Machen, number four. Ernie Machen scores his first goal of the season. And Uh, Clements with the free kick. Martin a touch forward. Gilzine and that's O'Rourke. Oh, what a great goal. John O'Rourke. And Alan Gilzine walking out of the picture angry. O'Rourke, his first goal for Coventry. On the goal line is Mike England, who could cause a little bit of trouble. There's England. And he scored. Mike England's got it. Curled off the top of his head. Well, what a turn up for the book. Mike England's first goal of the season. Machen ahead to Hunt. O'Rourke. Good ball back for Coop. Martin in the middle looking for the head. England there. Chance now. There it is. Gibson. Gibson. 3 1 to Coventry. But it's Spurs with Pratt to Knowles. Mullery open on the right. Gilzean for Want coming in from behind. Want being chased by Carr, still limping. Ooh, Clements playing him into trouble. That's Pediman. Gilzean! That's a great goal! What a beautiful goal! Charlie Cook. Houseman. Hollins going outside him on his left. Charlton is across covering Hollins. This is Hollins. And a fine attempt, and it's a goal. It's put in by Hutchinson. Hutchinson puts Chelsea one in front. Houseman. Hudson just inside him. Hudson wins the tackle. Hollins. And into the net by Hutchinson. It was Cook shot originally. Charlie Cook shot and slid over the line by Hutchinson. Dohoun, Woodward. Up the middle goes Addison. And he's got it, he's through. It's a very narrow angle. And there's a goal, a beautiful goal! Let's pick up the score, it's Gil Reese, I think. From Rogers. Oh, good raid, this Horsfield. It's there, it's there, Arthur oh, Horsfield has scored! Henry looking just a little bit shaky under pressure. He can't enjoy Jack Charlton being there. Bobby Charlton with the corner. Jack! Perfect goal! David Sandler's moved up, number six there. Just in the six-yard box from Lawrence's view. You can see that he might possibly obstruct it. And he has indeed. Whether he got a touch or not, we're not sure. But it was curled in. The ball curled in by Bobby Charlton, just in fact, as he did in the uh, match against Portugal. Well, well seen by Hughes. He's moved for the return too, but Brennan going with him. Now Callahan. Hit it well. Oh, Stepney. Hughes.
Inu has gone right up on the line. No one can get to it now, Aston. And you, you're getting the touch. Done. Charlton picking that off for Morgan. And number three. Best playing the pass as he was moving. Charlton going for a one-two and getting it. Oh, what a goal! And now to Barrett. And across to Conway. Now it must be. There it is. By Richardson. Certainly full of a circuit up very well in midfield. Form particularly. But now it's Conway. Flicking it inside for Earl. On the turn, and a magnificent goal by Steve Earl. Callaghan. Jones. To Horn. Just going past the outstretched foot of Prince to Conway. And in goes, oh, a magnificent goal by Richardson. What a goal! Beautiful goal. His second of the game. And away go Bristol Rovers now through Bryn Jones to Bobby Jones. And against the legs of Webster. Bobby Jones again. Jarman waiting for it at the far side. And here's Jarman. And there it is. By Jarman. Lorimer, and that's more like it, there's a goal, there's the goal, it's Hapwell Allen Clark, the scorer, and Peter Lorimer made it with a hard low shot. Leeds have ten men on the field now, Giles having attention as they mount an attack, Clark asking for it, but trying hard not to be outside. Hunter. Maidley, and is that number two by Clark? So easy, so easy, stroke home by Clark. Burns. Can he pull one back into somebody's path now? Sonic waiting. Sonic! Hutchison. Dennis Clark standing off him. Good centre. And turned in. By Craven. Up comes Summerby. Number nine is Lee. Number seven, Summerby. The young. And it's your boy. Boyer has scored it. Midway through the first half. 1-0 sitting in the loop. Number eight, Creran. Forward for Edwards, the back. Is he playing? A tremendous goal by Edwards. A your four. 
United to best. Boya coming back with him. The best with this perfect balance. Again, and for the low goal. It's all level. Law has put it all level. 14 minutes into the second half. A great goal by Law, made by Best. It'll have to be teed up. Obstruction. Oh, no, he's not going to have a shot at goal. Oh, it's a goal by Salini. And that was... Eight minutes from the end. Four blue shirts poised on the far post. Webb now making it five. Webb going for it. Dempsey right on the line. Osgood coming across. And he's left with the man behind him who got the header, Davy Webb again. Now him presenting it to Osgood. The running by Osgood. Side foot shot. In comes Hutchinson. Number three. Now Young. This is better from Young. Somerby. And a goal by Mike Somerby. Peters. Brooking. Howe. Redknapp. Boyce inside him. Good neat build up here by West Ham. Howe. To curl one. Hurst to come towards it. Take it on his body. Into the path of Peters. And there! And it's there by Peters. 11 minutes gone. Peters, Hurst, Redknapp and Brooking all in the area. And plenty of white shirts to mark them. Peters going in, getting ahead to it. And Hurst also. Number two by Hurst. 2-0 to West Ham. And only 13 minutes gone. Ravone to take this free kick for handball. And Jackson is flat out. And there's a there's the goal. Scored by Ball. Alan Ball scores. Jackson is still flat cold. Neil Robertson again. Caught. Jimmy Robertson getting the luck of that one from Jerry Young. John Radford. And goal number one. Samuel scores. Jimmy Robertson's determination won that ball as it came across in this snow-covered goal mouth. It was John Samuels with a low shot that puts it wide of Springer in the 27th minute to give Arsenal a 1-0 lead. One with flying feet, doesn't connect with the ball. Jerry Young. Tommy Craig nicely slips a hard tackle. And a good ball. It's Coleman. A lovely header. Oh, what a lovely header. Whittam. Jack Whittam, a superb goal for Wednesday. To Bremner. Lorimer Jones. A goal. Yes, a goal. Feeney. The Leeds players never stopped running. Up goes Jones. A goal. to take the free kick for Everton. Royal, Whittle, he scored! A good goal, well taken by Whittle, but made by Royal, who soared above everybody. So a chance for Birmingham, but they're not sending up centre-half Sluanik for this one. They're letting the forwards get on with the job. Bowden, number eight there. A dangerous man at the far post, though. Just over Bowden's head, and it's a goal! What a good goal! That was Malcolm Page. There he is. Up to the penalty spot. Lunique beaten in the air, and it's Bowden back there helping out. Ferguson. 
Hockey going in on the ground. Venables, Venables could get onto this one. Going on his own, and what a good shot and good save, and that's it. By goal, by goal. Edwards, Stewart, striving to get a foot to it, and Hughes again now with a chance, and Hughes play on. Could have been a, uh, a free kick there, but I think Mr. James playing advantage for Baker. He must. Baker has scored. Joe Baker has scored. What a day for Joe Baker. This is the day he's waited more than half a season for. And after one frustrating disappointment, Joe Baker has scored. Just coming up to the edge of the area now. There he is. But this is broken with the end swinger. Jennings punching away safely. Harper will get this one. Everyone melting out of the area. Evans getting it away. Now, what's Tommy Carroll going to do with it? Wiggs going out on the right, but he's put it forward to Baxter. And now this is a chance. Charlie Woods. Charlie Woods, but Phil Baxter was the man who flicked it on. And that's the first goal. 20 minutes gone. The first breakthrough for Ipswich. This is Brogan cutting inside. Woods is right over on that far side. Tries to find Wig. He does a good one. The return to Bill John. Good play by Bill John. Puts Wig away on his good left foot. What can he do with it? In comes Hill. I know. What a lovely work goal. Hill right on the spot. Beautiful cross from number eight, Ron Wig. That's a deep flick. There's Greaves. It's in the goal. Jimmy Greaves has. Tottenham are coming through and cutting off any chance that Bradford City are having in the middle of the field now. This is Ham. Good ball by Ham. And with a cross. Bobby Ham is the man who put it through. Johnson coming back. So, coming away from Perriman. Finding Ham. It's a good ball. And have only just away from the ball. That's Ballister, the goal! The actual scorer was Stowell, but in the excitement of the moment, the BBC commentator wrongly accredited the goal to Bruce Bannister. In the FA Cup, Neil Young was again on target in front of the match of the day cameras. Well, the crowd now is all we are saying is give us a goal, and there might be a chance for Young. It's uh, there! They have got it. One thing the crowd didn't expect, but Young has scored. Young, Witten, John Kay, trying to find Brown. Tommy Craig. Coleman, Witten! Rejected, John Osborne. War boys. Go with him. It's Corbett's ball. Martin. Saget. Brown coming in on it again. Oh, what a good goal! What a cracking goal by Tony Brown, really hit that on the body. Coleman. Craig. Young. Two inside. With him going for it. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no. Got the touch of Paris Jerry Youngs. With him seems to be claiming it, but they all...
Collins. To Cook. Played on very nicely for Hudson. Good play by Hudson. And a nice little flick by him to Osgood. Yes! By Osgood. Made for him unmistakably by Alan Hudson. Flicked in there by Hausman to Osgood. And there it is by Hutchinson. Greedy to Harris. Harris to Hollins. Oh, and Chelsea with two men there, and neither of them offside. Hutchinson, and there it is, by Hutchinson. That's a chase for Woodward and Brown. Brown's head. Sandy Brown getting his head there. Throw to Sheffield United. Barlow. Oh, a good cross. And a beautiful header. It's there. A superb goal. What a wonderful goal by Gil Reese. What a wonderful goal. Oh, Gil Reese has scored a picture goal. Gordon West never moved. Tony Curry. Woodward. And Woodward slips his man. He's going to get to it. Alan Woodward. Addison, it's there, it's there, Colin Addison has done it, a superb goal, Alan Woodward pinpointed that, and it's the head of Colin Addison which puts it there. But often, there's the justice being done in the end of course, although it wasn't a penalty given, a goal is scored. Hunter to Grenell, Greeny going up the right and Jones down the middle. Oh, and a lucky boy! It's the goal! Scored by Clark! Collins! Oh, he deserved it! He deserved it! And the slackest bit of defence I've ever seen from Leeds. Biggs taking over the Clark roll of standing right by the touchline in front of him. Webb! Remember number four. Number ten, Giles. Bates. Cooper. A great goal by Cooper. Remember, it looked like hands is a penalty. Yes, a penalty for Leeds. Oh, Dempsey, I think, almost certainly guided that with his arm. Giles to take it. First match of his season for Hughes. He's got to face a penalty, and it's a goal. Oh, and right one now, Lollipa. Great chance for 4-2. Is it? It just is a goal. Put in by Harris. 4-2. Number 10, Giles. Remnant Jones is fine! And he's not going to get it. Kinnear back to Pierce again. Low and half, Greaves! Oh, what a goal by Greaves! Oh, what a superb header by Greaves! Oh, one for Gilsin, and he's onside. He's got Morgan up in support. And there it is! Oh, a beautiful goal! Morgan to finish it off. Greaves and Gilsin to make it. So Dave Mackay with the kick for Derby. Daniel right up there, putting it straight in. And Wendell, oh, he was a little slow there. Colin! Colin! When Spurs thought they were safe, Carlin screwed that little leg of his round and makes it 2-1. Terry Neal. Nice flip through by Radford to Marinello. Chance for him here. Oh, what good footwork. Must make himself a goal. And he's got it. to take the free kick this would be a good time for a goal and there it is Paolo Sartori the scorer Neil and K 
in there, tussling together, here's Morgan! 2-1! Maher and Sullivan straight down the left wing. So it goes to the right to Davey. Oh, a good ball to Ricard, it's a goal! Oh, a lovely move by Plymouth. There's Ricard, the scorer. And away goes Slough. That's a bad ball. Of Foster. And Bickle. More going across to take him. Oh, dear, what a terrible mix-up! It's a goal! Challenge for that one, but what a terrible mix up. And how about David? Osgood, still the booze. Hausman wanting it at the far side. Hollins wanting it on the near side. It's Hollins who gets it. First time. Hausman closing in, and it's there by Hollins. Straight in. Hudson with a corner. And Hutchinson! Hutchinson! Simpson. Chelsea men in blue diving for him every time. And now a chance for a counter-attack. Hollins there with Hudson in support. Baldwin and Osgood too. Still Hollins. A nice little pass there for Osgood. Sunderland defending well. And another cheer for Cecil Owen. Billy Hughes, a good pass that time from the big fellow. And Hughes trapping it well. Harris waiting back for it. There's Gordon Harris. And Baker on the left-hand side. And Baker now. Tewitt calling for it. Hughes looking for it. And Park. And Hughes! The great goal, Billy Hughes! Oh, what a goal, Billy Hughes! And Gordon Harris, Roker Park's resident penalty spot man Harris who scored three goals so far this year and it's there Sunderland 2 Spurs 0 Noel's pass not going very far at all but getting the second bite Roger Morton, Morgan and Irwin still retreating Irwin just coming back as Chivers goes in with it and Martin Chivers now Gilzine moving into the area Greaves there Morgan a great goal! A lovely goal, Roger Morgan! Number 10, Hutchinson. Across to Hollins. Right left fly from this distance. <laughs> Remember the goal he got against Leeds and he's done it again. Hudson, it's a beautiful one, and Osgood, he scored! And a beautiful effort by Hudson, making it for Osgood, the goalkeeper's hurt. Coates, back to O'Neill. Kinder. Wilson, Casper, Dobson, it's a goal! Dobson has scored for Burnley. Coach, Hudson after him. Coach, a bit of a ball to Dobson, it's the equalizer! And goal by Burnley, made by Coach. Hunter, Giles, Hunter, Clark, 2-1.
too easy for Clark then. Lama. Oh, yes, a goal. Lama. Number three, scored by Clark. Maidley. Lorimer. Clark. And again. Clark well left. Lorimer. Oh, he wanted too much time, did he know? He wanted a lot of time. The ball ran for him. And he took his time as well. A Faulkner. Oh, it's the one mistake he's made, and he's in trouble now, and the defence is too, there's Clark. Rifled in. Willie Morgan has the responsibility. And there it is! up kid yes it's been allowed although the linesman's flag was up I think it was up in fact because he was being pulled back by Booth Neil Young Lee nobody at all in this half of the field and Brian Kidd is after it he's there first Book has got to come to cover. Oaks is in pursuit. It's in! What a goal! Addison getting a touch, but Mackay sweeping up. Hector forward and O'Hare is in. And again, this Sheffield United defence packing desperately. Now Hinton. O'Hare in. And it's a goal, O'Hare! O'Hare, a, a goal from an almost impossible situation. Mackay placing the ball, number eight is Carlin, number 11, Hinton. Carlin. And O'Hare is there again! Well, how about that one? From nothing. Conjured up out of nothing and a goal that must surely sicken these Sheffield United players. Kai punching it forward. O'Hare, oh, oh beautiful ball, must be offside surely against Durban. No, he's onside and he scored. He's all right. McGill, who's getting through a lot of hard work in midfield to Dobson, number 11. To Nicholson. Smith. The first goal scored by Smith. 13 games of the campaign to go. Was the boss feeling lucky? I think it was his second year as a manager. When the return match was played at White Hart Lane the following January, it was football in colour. This is Davies! And a good goal. In November 1970. And Garvin going in. And indeed a goal. Oh, a beautiful goal. Two goals in a minute. Now Ted Hemsley. With one man going forward, but nobody in that particular spot. Houghton. No handball again, says Mr. Walker. And here comes Wexler. Good ball from Reason Card by Simkin. But Sheffield United get it back. This is Curry. There's nobody on the right. They've got to keep it on the left. And keeping it too short, give it to Hull. Houghton coming forward strongly. Jarvis to Simkin. With Chilton Arm on his right. This is Chilton. Chance for a run and a cross with Butler and Wagstaff coming into the middle. This is Wagstaff.
Everything's good. No trouble at all. Corner then to Sheffield United. And they've really got to get something back before half-time if they're going to stay in this game. Things not looking at all well for this Sheffield United side. Cahoon then, once again, on the goal line. Woodward with the in-swinger. There's one of them. Madison. Banjo gets it. Finding the man more accurately now, Sheffield United. This is Curry. Woodward's free here. Addison! <laughs> Cahoon! There it is! Eddie Cahoon! That's what he's meant to do all the time, and he's done it. In swinger from Eddie Gray. No challenge from Leeds United. They. Uh, there's a chance now, and it's in. Johnny Giles. Larimer, the chance to break. Not, not many defenders there. Three against three. Jones, if he can get there, and he does. Clark, what a goal! What a beautiful goal. It just needed Oscar to lift it a little more. Finally, here's the corner. Osgood up for it with his hand, and it's there, Osgood! A goal that I think the Crystal Palace defence will kick themselves for not stopping. Hudson. A really strong tackle there by Payne. Lachlan, Hine playing it off for Lachlan. And the ball falling nicely for Hine. And there's Hine! Oh, a great goal! Roger Hine! Oh, what a goal! Dempsey well up again. Complaining that Hoy isn't 10 yards away. That signal was clear enough, but get on with it, says the referee. So Hollins planting it high again. Dempsey getting up. Good jump then by Dave Sadler. Ferran through for best. Here he goes again. Georgie Best. What a beautiful bit of running by this man. Fair brother. Charlton feeding Kidd. Best free in the middle. Willie Morgan coming over to help Kidd now. And a chance for Best. Here's the hat trick. There it is eventually. Well, well, well. Georgie Best makes it a hat trick. But that third one is the easiest he'll ever score. Brian Kidd. Saver then was Brooks. Kidd again. Here's Best. Number four. Georgie Best. Just the tiniest touch. Bobby Charlton, who hasn't had a great deal of luck in the goal-scoring stakes this season. Only eight goals in all. There he is. Touch for Kidd. Brian Kidd. Dave Sadler, sure as a rock. There's the substitute. Burns. Right in action right away. Best going through the middle. He's on for five. There it is. Oh, Georgie Best. 
And Ian Ewer, solid as a rock. What a difference this man has made to the Manchester United back line since they bought him from Arsenal. And what a difference this man makes to any front line. There's George Best. Two burns. Has Kidd forward on the far side of two unmarked men. One of them is Willie Morgan, who should get another goal here. No, Kidd does. Well, you've got to feel sorry for Book then. He made the first save, dropped the ball, and Kidd whacks it in. Number four running is Clark. That's a good ball. There's Large. And now Dixie McNeil. It's there. Dixie McNeil gets one back. Well, there he is, the hero of Northampton, who makes it 7-1 now. Kid. Kid. Winning this ball. Faced by Rankmore, who has a chance to intercept. Kid not able to move as fast as he was earlier. Kid, who's twice been down with an injury. Is Crerand. Best. Here's the record. There it is. George Eves sets a new scoring record for Manchester United. Six goals in a game. Rankmore getting it forward. As Kiernan moves in on four, five defenders, United defenders. Fairbrother, cross ball, Large going in, and he's got it, Frank Large. Keegan. This is Deere, got Kerr outside, gives it in, good pass. Jordan, fine move this, chance for Cassidy, great chance, but there, Cassidy has scored. Scunthorpe United have taken the lead. Smith. Toller back to Rogers. Give it to the experts. The expert didn't do so well. No ball. It's there. A, magni a magnificent goal by Peter Noble. Peter Noble there. His 14th goal of the season and one that this Swindon crowd have never more needed. Gives it to Davidson. Smith intercepts and away goes Rogers. Away goes Rogers. He's got Horsfield inside him and Noble. There it is. It's there. It's there. Arthur Horsfield had scored for Swindon. And you can see the joy on his face. At last he scored. He's had four or five chances. And he had two chances at that one. And he took it very well indeed. Trollope. Smith. Good ball through for Trollope or Horsfield. This is Trollope. John Trollope. He scored. John Trollope. A very good goal indeed by left back John Trollope. Evan Jess. Graham. Evans making ground, there's Evans, a real chance for number two, that settles it, number two for Liverpool, number two for Evans, and Shilton, the Leicester goalkeeper, left as naked as the day he was born. Kid to best, with the ball bouncing, wobbling very badly over on the far side. Kid, it's there! Manchester United can conceivably have thrown away this ridiculous point now. A mistake by your sends Cliff Jackson away and Stepney has to bring him down. Just 15 minutes left. Sewell takes the penalty for Crystal Palace. And well, good gracious me. And it's a goal. 
It's a goal now. Nobody moved to help Stinky. And Saul has put it in. Charlton for once not going onto the goal line. Staying on the edge of the penalty area instead. And that one's aimed towards Jack Charlton, though, and he almost got to it with his head, but Mike England, his counterpart, getting there first. Lorimer with a shot and a fine goal by Peter Lorimer. Scallion. Luck. Nicely through the legs of Wall. End in! Rogers, Giles for Leeds, and back come Leeds again. Hunter. Oh, this is open. Clark! Again beaten in the air. Total piece of misjudgment. Jones. Clark's there, so do his Giles, and there's Gray. Clark! What a goal! What a goal! Magnificent! Superb goal! Oh, look at this good positioning here by Webb for Chelsea. And a nice little pass there for Hollins. And two men are waiting in the middle. There's a reflect deflection there! And a good goal there by Webb! And what a fine goal it was! Ferguson trying to make up uh, ground on it, but now Webb again. Webb, who loves nothing more to, than to come storming forward into the penalty area. He always comes forward for free kicks and for corners, but he took up a superb position there. But now it's caught, and Osgood completely free! Number two by Peter Osgood! And that really is a heartbreaking start for Rangers. So Venables against Benetti, part two. And there it is, 2-1. And still the Chelsea players don't like it. But Venables is happy, so are Rangers, because they are right back in it now. Hutchinson, oh, Hollins. With a shot and a good save, and he must be it. Osgood! Tremendous shot by Hollins, and Kelly couldn't hold it. And Osgood's second one. Osgood. Finding Hudson again. The long one hoping to get uh, Hausman going, and uh, by courtesy of uh, Clement, he is away. Hausman. Oh, good save! And a good interception there. By Clement, and there's a fair bit of pushing and shoving there between Gillard and uh, Hutchinson. Hudson pumping in it again, and the linesman flag goes up. And Osmo, and the linesman had his flag up. The linesman certainly had his flag up before that was put away. To Bridges. Marsh. So little scene of Rodney Marsh this afternoon, but there's a fair-looking ball there. Bridges, can he turn it in? He can! For a fine goal by Bridges! Nice change of direction out to Kidd. Sartori always available. Kidd. Best and Morgan in the centre. Charlton coming in at the back. Kidd tries one. Number one to United. Gates. And Hickton is there. Stepney had come out. He's forced to back pedal. John Hickton. It's been a highly important game. Rovers 
sadly lacking match practice, although they had a special friendly game behind closed doors on Tuesday against Liverpool. Giles Mel Blythe's head again Bremner there's Jones and there it is at last Leeds have reached it a beautiful ball for Bremner Jim Scott heading it on again for Scott Queen Hunter that's a 50-50 ball won by Maidley. And Maidley going forward well. And a good ball to Jones, but a good pass by Maidley. Jones, there it is, number two, Mick Jones. Cut out by Greenwood. Now Simkin. Looking for Chilton, and it's a great ball. Chris Chilton. It's a goal. Chris Chilton, what a goal. He's through his legs. Hope with the corner. Talbot trying to get Astle in fact getting ahead to it and Corrigan a fist. Hope again. And Doyle away for Manchester City. But only as far as Ray Wilson. And here's another high one to look for Astle going in. And it's Pardo with the corner. Some of it to flick it on in spite of the pain. And it's there! The equaliser for Manchester City. It's Doyle who's done it. In the end, he was beaten by the pitch. Doyle finding Lee. Oh, and Lee did well to get that over. Bell flicking it on. Pardo! Lee Pardo! And Dempsey right up! And it's down by Webb! David Webb! With precisely two and a half minutes gone. David Webb! Who scored the first goal in the last round? against Queen's Park Rangers almost as quickly Terry Garbett well headed by McCready straight there for Garbett still Garbett with a shot and a goal by Garbett my goodness what a surprise Collins and Osgood laying it off for Hutchinson Hutchinson in turn laying it off for Hudson there's Hausman outside him Osgood in the middle and Osgood Peter Osgood 2-1 to Chelsea Oh, 
Gypsy. Coming it sideways there for Webb. Oh, good ball by Webb to Hausman. Still he goes, he's got a pretty tough left foot, is Hausman. Still he goes on, and a goal by Hausman! 3-1! Alan Hudson. Hook. Hudson again. Oh, through his legs. And now to Osgood. Hutchinson, still Hutchinson, there it goes, number four, by Hutchinson. Charlie Cook. That one caught on the wind a bit. Hutchinson, Hausman. Hutchinson, oh, a nice little one through there for Hausman. There it is, number five. Peter Hausman second, Chelsea Smith. Penalty, donc, pour Leeds, à 12 minutes de la fin du match. Alors que l'équipe de Belle, langue anglaise, mène par un but à zéro sur l'ensemble des deux matchs. Penalty tiré par Gilles, qui marque. Johnny Gilles. Le petit avant-centre de l'équipe de Lille donne le deuxième but à son équipe. Allen fighting Rowe, player a lot of the big clubs have been looking at. Dyson up there, number 10, and it's a goal! Stockport County, who've got a reputation of giving away easy goals, giving away another one. For corners, Gloom, number six, comes back for Orient, and Taylor goes forward. Broadbent not getting his corners over far enough. Uh, Braybrook, rather. Jones to Braybrook. Jones overlapped on the right. This is Jones. To go! Oakley was caught as that ball was hit for the near post. He got his hands to it, but let it go. Bloom with the free kick. It's out of his head. It's a goal. Yes, it's a goal. Scored by Taylor. Holland. Hurst. Holland surely was offside. This is Greaves. Still there, Greaves. Ten minutes of the match gone, and Jimmy Greaves has done it again. Oaks. A play by Tommy Doyle. Lee getting an awful lot of room. players up. Holland, first, Greaves coming in, number two. Boyce, first. What a good go. Slight conversation going on off the ball between Hurst and the linesman. Straight back from Boyce! What a goal! What an unbelievable goal! A terrible clearance from Corrigan, and Boyce said, take that! Bonds. A real 
rocket from Hurst and they were all standing watching him. Hudson. Cook. And now Hollins. Daniel taking that out of play, but the linesman has kept his flag down. And here's Osgood, and here's Hutchinson, and it's a goal! Harris with the throw. Oh, and a good piece of work here by Hausman. Hutchinson closing in. This is aimed towards Hutchinson, and a fine goal by Ian Hutchinson. 2 0. And Hutchinson second in the game. Burns finding Crera. That's aimed towards Law. And is lost to the best. Morgan, a goal by Willie Morgan. First ball. A good break across field here by Kendall to Harvey to Morrissey. Royal and Ball at the back of the box, Whittle in the middle, there's Royal again. It's there, Joe Royal! Brown. Royal looking for it and finding it. Ball, Harvey, Whittle! Maidley winning the ball in midfield to tremendous regularity. A great break here for Clark. There it is. One nothing. Alan Clark, the man with his hand in the air of triumph. Wolves again making, falling into the error of the poorly directed passes. And this leads covering so fast and sharp and incisive. Lorimer. Clark going up. And Clark going in. Now it's Jones. Well, that was a sad moment there. And I think Munro got a touch on it. All feels certainly should have had it. Jeff Bowden. Dave Robinson, Phil Summerhill chasing that, but put back by Jeff Hutt. And there's Stephen Smith with the ball. Jimmy Nicholson, Worthington, and again a save! It's there! Long last by Bill Burnham, it looks like Law. The voice of Yorkshire TV in those days was Keith Macklin. It was great to share the euphoria of the 1969-70 season. Jeff Bowden. Players slithering around in the mud. This is Stephen Smith going round his man beautifully. And that is that too. It's there. Jimmy Lawson again. That's number two for Jimmy Lawson. Just six games to go, and the fans were starting to believe that the Halcyon day. Horsfield robbing Rooks there. Good ball by Noble to Donald Rogers. Go, takes on Jacobs. Rodney Thomas hooking it back to Galley. It's there! It's there! It's an own goal! Good ball to Garlin. Butler, Butler as always, working so hard there for Swindon. Policing Garlin. That's a good ball indeed, Liz, because Wimshurst free on the right. There it goes to Wimshurst. Back to Kellard. Galley goes up, gets it. Chance for Sharp! Blocked by Burrows. It's a goal! Gary Sharp has scored! Gary Sharp has equalised for Bristol City after 23 minutes. Good turn of speed there, and Clark getting in on it. McCormick too, and it's a goal for Ipswich by Woods. Charlie Woods with 18 minutes gone. 
Palace will look for something from this now. And it is a good long throw. Blythe to get underneath it. McCormick! McCormick! And it's a goal by McCormick! 1-1! And so Alex Stepney shapes up to face this penalty from Francis Lee, one of the real killer kickers in the game, but Stepney a very good record of saving penalties. Certainly saved one from Tony Brown of West Bromwich Albion this season. Saved another one, if my memory serves me right, in the cup against Northampton. Lee, and he scored. Best. Lovely little wriggle gave him space there. He's got Kidd with him and Morgan out on his right. That's Morgan. And it's gone in, number one from Kidd. waiting on the far wing but Doyle bursting through here good goal good goal Leeds will want to do so much good and positive work in this first leg the second leg will be a very formidable one up at Hampden Park on April the 15th Gemmell with the throw Bertie Hall the long one for Wallace to chase and Maidley is shadowing and Maidley almost losing out on it Rini there giving him support and a shot across the goal and a goal to Celtic in the very first minute in the very first minute a goal for Celtic Beal Peters trying to spray it wide there towards Gilzean but McCreaney Birchinal well up Osgood well there Birchinal again and so many Spurs players are back, but now Baldwin with a shot, and a goal by Tommy Baldwin! Just on five minutes gone, some beautiful work in the air by Osgood. <laughs> Pickering nodding it down, and there it is! One minute's gone. John Craven, who had three chances in the first ten minutes that he wasn't able to make anything of, eventually puts Blackpool one 0 in front. If Blackpool do win promotion, they'll have to be much more urgent about looking for their chances. They certainly won't find as many in Division One. Ferguson for the four. Queen's Park Rangers and there it is headed in by Leach or is it offside yes it's been given I think yes Leach is goal managing to get it back to Lorimer for Maidley Chris Galvin out on the left is Hibbert Galvin holding it at the moment Bates trying to get up there Gray picking it up in midfield and a good one he's there right incredible goal what an incredibly judged goal by Eddie Gray. He saw that Peter Meller, England number 23 international, was about 10 yards out of his goal and from 35 yards flighted the ball over the top of him. This is for Probert. Oh, an no own goal. And it's John Faulkner, I think. It's poor John Faulkner who stuck a leg out there and in his first football league game has put through his own goal. Bates. Gray. Good ball meant for Johannesson. Who, and here's Gray. And a cool save. By Miller. Had to have two attempts at that. Gray still up there. Eddie Gray. 
Oh, good footwork by Gray. Still going. Oh, what a lovely goal. What a masterly goal by Eddie Gray. A superb bit of football. Jackie Charlton up on that goal line again. And Eddie Gray with the corner. Bremner right up too. The same towards Jack Charlton. Kick. No, it's a goal! Jack Charlton, in fact, got ahead to it. And a Chelsea player, John Hollins, I think it was, missed the ball on the goal line. And it couldn't have gone more than a yard over the line. That's a referee, Eric Jennings. Gives the free kick, which Harris takes. McCready. Hutchinson trying to flick it, back head it. It's gone to uh, Houseman with a shot, and a goal! Oh, a terrible mistake there by Spring! And Houseman has scored the softest of equalisers. Mick Jones falls to his knees in despair. 1-1. And now to Billy Bremner. a good run here by Giles as well. Got it in first time towards Clark. Against the post. How unlucky can you get? Jones, a goal! Nick Jones, 2-1. And Sprake is jumping for joy at the other end as well. Yes, Don Revy looking at that watch. Every minute seeming like an hour to him, I would think. Hollins to curl it in again. Hutchinson! A goal by Ian Hutchinson! And Leeds United prostrate on the deck. Lorimer is down. Bremner is down. Jones is down. to find a little cohesion in their work at the moment. Wind holding the ball up. McLean faced by Clements. Watch your hair now. A great little goal. A simple, neat goal by John O'Hare. His very first international game. His very first international. Bobby Charlton. <laughs> Peters. And it's there. <laughs> Jeff Hurst didn't touch it. The goal scorer was Martin Peters. Okay. Charlton again. This is Clements. Best just with stars between him and the goal. And he's got a clear chance. And that's won it. And England with no cover at all, but what a goal by Best. He drilled it in the narrowest space. Peters to Charlton. Newton linking. Hurst. trouble and looked to me as if it might have been deflected Jeff Hurst certainly was the one who powered it but Brian Kidd might have just got a touch Mullery this is Hughes
And just look at this crowd and the England players. All the England players coming up to congratulate Charlton. Bradford in the six-yard area. And Armstrong with the kick. McClintock to Kelly. Made a little space for himself there, Kelly. And a bit more there as well. George Graham to Bob McNabb right up. Can he turn it back? A good cross now from McNabb. Baldwin now, Hollins again. Osgood, now Hutchinson, Cook. And Osgood! Grand oh! score by Osgood, ran beautifully off the ball. And Hutchinson building up the position for one of his famous long runs near to the penalty box, and up goes Dempsey and Webb as Hutchinson prepares to take the throw. Line. Oleg, as ever, with him. Lee trying to tee himself up. Good save by Koska. Young! Neil Young. His fourth goal in the competition, but made by Francis Lee. Francis Lee to take the penalty for the good uh, fast bowler's run up. Lorraine absolutely teeming down. Was a bit lucky the power took it through the legs. And Olek and Schultershik on the ball. Schultershik to take it. Lubanski, nice play by him. Oslislo! 2-1. The Gornick skipper scored. That story making it easy for Roberts, but Roberts in fact then making it difficult for himself. So Morgan in possession again. And a good looking cross for Gilzine! Gilzine! 1-0 to Tottenham. And Arsenal's errors over on the touchline. Allowing Morgan to get a good cross in. And Gilzine to do the rest. First. And it's there. A goal. After less than two minutes, Martin Peters turns up once again with the vital goal for the world champion. And they get it in 90 seconds. Six minutes in the first half left, a corner to England, who lead 1-0. Charlton to take it. Peters, 2-0, and Peters has got the vote. Mullery to Newton. Hurst. Peters. Charlton. 2 yes! 3-0. And the goalkeeper hardly moved to it.
The ball was in the net before he moved. Charlton, look at the little ball going. First. Peters. Cooper. Rolling it around. More. To Cooper. Ball. It's there. It's ball on his head. Alan Ball, who's had a great, great match, clinches it. What a performance. As Newton overlapping down the right. But it's Mullery. Now Newton. Newton and Lee going in fast. A goal, a goal for Francis Lee. Quick piece of opportunist running then by Francis Lee. The Ecuadorian stunned by the lax defence that allowed Lee to get in on top of them. Francis Lee scoring his sixth international goal, adding another one to the cracking good goal he scored against Wales at Cardiff last month. More. Ball. Peters. A little triangular movement again. Peters for the near post. Hurst is in! And I'm killed! Well, Hurst might just have got a touch of that ball, but there's no doubt about the score. It's Brian Kidd. Down injured as he scored. Perhaps it was his back, maybe he just knocked the wind out of his uh, out of his lungs. So that's 2-0 England. Brian Kidd then scoring his first international goal.